Hi, my name is Andrew and today I'm going to teach you how to find the molar mass of iron 3 hydroxide. I've created a nice little table for you. Watch how simple this is. Bam. So the first thing we're going to do is write down the elements that we see in the compound. So we see iron, we see oxygen, and we see hydrogen. Then we're going to take into account the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. If there's not a subscript there, it is assumed to be one. So there's one iron. There's also one oxygen, but you got to be careful. Oxygen is tied up in the polyatomic anion hydroxide and you have three of them. Therefore, you have three oxygens. The other way to look at it is to take the inner subscript and multiply it by the outer subscript to find the total of that particular atom. Same thing for hydrogen. You got one hydrogen, you multiply it by the outer subscript, three, and so you have three hydrogens. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. Then we're going to find the masses of the elements. Where do we find these? Oh, periodic table. So iron's mass is going to be 55.85, oxygen is 16, and hydrogen is 1.01. .01, and those are the masses we're going to write down. So 55, so 55.85, then we have 16 and then we have 1.01. .01. All right, those masses can either be in AMU or gram per mole, depending upon if you're calculating molecular mass or molar mass. So the total mass here of the element now, we're just gonna simply find by multiplying the row on across. So the total mass of iron here is 55.85. The total mass of oxygen is going to be 48. And then the total mass of hydrogen is 3.03. .03. To find then the entire mass of the entire compound, which is really what we're looking for, we're gonna sum this particular column on up, right? Isn't that so simple? So this is 106.88. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in terms of grams per mole. That's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you can. It helps us out tremendously. I look forward to helping you with thousands of more problems. Take care.